So the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra has been out for a couple of weeks and they've added a bunch of new upgrades to it, but one that not a lot of people are actually talking about is the upgrades to Circle to Search. You see, last year they added Circle to Search and what it was able to do is really search the internet for anything that you circled on your screen. So if, for example, you took a picture of a shoe, then you were able to search that and find the same shoe or a similar shoe online to either get information about it or even purchase that item. But then also you could use it on plants and animals just to find out what type of plant or animal that is. But now it can do so much more. So let's take a look at it. So the first upgrade is really subtle, but it's still really useful. And that is the AI overview with Circle Search. So in the past, you could use Circle Search and it worked great, but it oftentimes required a little bit more research or follow-up questions to get exactly the info that you might need on the item that you circled, because it usually would just show you what it is without any context. But now with AI overview, it gives you that context. For example, if I take this image that I have here, I know that that is Atreus from God of War, but that is mainly because I have played the games. If you haven't, then of course you don't have that context. So in previous versions, it might show the results as it being Atreus, and then somewhere in the search it might show where he is from, so let's say from a PlayStation game, and then maybe from what game that is. But now with the AI overview, it shares that info at a glance, meaning you can get more info and potentially even all of the info that you need without having to dig further. And this can be done for multiple different images, which is great. And it just saves you more time trying to find any info of anything that is on your screen. The second upgrade comes in the video slash music side of things. You see last year really relied on still images, but this year they sort of expanded on that. So we've probably all been in the situation where you're watching your favorite movie, series, YouTube video, or just out in the public, and you hear a song in the background that you really just need to know what that song is, before you actually forget how the song sounds. Well, now Circle to Search supports music searching. So all you need to do is, while watching YouTube, for example, is hold down the home button, then click on the music note icon, and the phone will start listening to the music that is playing in the background. Now, there are a few limitations with this, and the first is that that doesn't actually work with headphones. So if you are listening to something on your device, it will need to actually be playing through the speakers so the mic of your phone can actually actively listen to what the song is that is playing in the background. Otherwise, it will not pick it up. And I do hope they actually change that in future because let's say I'm on a flight and I'm watching a video that I've downloaded and I hear a song in the background that I actually love and I want to know more about. Now I actually have to go and use my headphones and place it on the mic of the phone to actually use that or I need to disconnect my headphones, play the music out loud to actually have the phone recognize the song that is playing which is not ideal. Now, hopefully they can fix that with a software update where it just allows the phone to listen to audio that is playing on the phone itself. That way you don't have to disconnect or actually have music playing loud through your device for you to actually do the music search and it can just do it all internally. And then secondly, it doesn't work with all apps. So let's say, for example, you're watching Netflix series on your device, you're a background song in the series, then you can't actually use Circle to Search on that because Netflix blocks Circle to Search, which is of course a safety feature for them. So if you wanted to, let's say, find out what the background song is on your favorite Netflix series, you'll actually have to do it either via a TV or someone else's device as you won't be able to use Circle to Search while in Netflix. And that of course is just one use case that can mean many other different apps. So if you're using other apps, it might not work there, but of course it might work on other apps, which is still great. But then of course, if you were to hear a song in the background of your favorite movie or series while watching it on your TV or on a different device, or just sitting in a lounge somewhere or at your friend's house and you hear a song come up, then of course you can still use the circle to search feature even though you don't have the thing on your device. You can just hold down the home button, click on the music icon and hold your device close to that audio source and it will still pick up the audio from that and it can give you the song. You can of course sing it, hum it, if you have sort of a general feel of how the song sounds, then it could still potentially give you the correct song. If you're close enough, you don't have to be like spot on, but you just need to be close enough, then it can still give you that song. And then of course you can just hold down the power button and ask the AI system what song this is, and it will actually also start listening for the song. So there are multiple different ways that you can do it, not just via circle to search, but you can also do it via the AI assistant. So honestly, finding your favorite song in any setting has never been easier. Plus one of the biggest reasons to use this 
over a different app, for example, is the fact that you don't actually have to leave any of the apps that you're open. So let's say you're, for example, on Instagram and you hear a song in the background, you can hold down the home button, have it listen to the song, it will give you the song, and then once you're done, you can just click off, continue scrolling on Instagram. If you're on Instagram and you hear a song and you don't know what song it is, you can hold it down, it can listen to that song, it can give you the answer, you can continue scrolling. Same with YouTube. You can stay on the apps that you are in and you don't have to actually actively switch between apps. And that for me, once again, is probably one of the biggest features to actually use this over any other app. Next is the fact that Circle of Search now recognizes contact numbers, email addresses, and even URLs, making it easier than ever to interact with those on images. Now, this is once again something that has happened to me a bunch of times in the past, where I ask a friend or a family member for the restaurant that they, for example, like the most or the one that we went to last. And what they do is they send you a screenshot of either the Google Maps image or just their Google search that has all the information on it, but you don't actually have the information that you can just simply click and dial out. Now in the past, I used to just take the image and then use the text feature on that to then highlight the text on the image, but sometimes it does pick up spaces that aren't there, or it makes an O a zero or a zero an O, which way around, and then sometimes it does get it slightly wrong. And if you don't have that feature on your smartphone, for example, then the best way is to, of course, just retype everything, meaning you'll have to go back and forth between the image and whatever app that you are using, whether that's email or your phone app, to actually get all the contact information on. But now you can simply circle search it. Now circle search, once again, you can open the image, hold down the home button, and then circle the area that you wanna select. Then you can click select text, and then you can simply click on any of these sections that you want, like the URL, for example, and it'll automatically pick it up as a URL that will allow you to visit the site. You can click on the address to say maps to easily get directions to it, or even the number to easily call them, which is way easier than trying to either copy paste it like I did in the past, or simply retyping it by going back and forth again. Now this is of course a feature that I've used a lot in the past and usually like I said I had to copy paste which wasn't a perfect method but with this way it makes it so much easier and so much faster to do that as I can simply say select text, click on it, click on the action that I want to follow and you're done. And then lastly, you can also use Circle to Search to translate your entire screen, which can be really useful, especially while traveling. So let's say, for example, you go to Japan, you have a Japanese menu on a wall somewhere that is full Japanese, you can't understand anything, no pictures, no nothing. Then you can simply take a photo of that menu, you can have it on your phone, hold down the home button, and select the translate button at the bottom right, and it will translate your entire screen. Now this of course is great as it will allow you to actually read the menu before you decide on anything. And let's say you're in a more rural area where English just isn't an option, there's no way for you to actually translate, which can be problematic because you can either order something that you don't like, firstly, or secondly, you could be allergic to something and then order something that you are allergic to, which can be problematic both ways. But of course, with the s of Ultra, you can also use interpreter. So if you need to ask follow-up questions on the menu, so let's say, for example, does this contain nuts or whatever the case, you can still use that in combination with Circle to Search to really make your traveling so much easier. But what are your favorite features of Circle to Search? Leave them down in the comment section below and tell me how it's making your life easier or just simply how you use it daily. But then, until next time. Cheers.